<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is very dark. Hold on, let's move you much better. There we go. Hi. Hi. Say hi. So yes, Miss Remy Ashton LLC is back and in business. It's been so long. I miss them so much. I just realized this is the first vlog with my facial hair. Oh my God, is it really? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, LA has opened up all restaurants and retail stores gyms. and yeah, gyms and everything. So like we felt like it was safe to come back to work. We've missed each other so much. There's so much work to catch up on and be done. So we are here. We've all been safe and social distancing correctly. So taking temperatures. <laughs> I got the thermometers. We have disinfecting wipes everywhere. So it's still safe here, but we are excited to be back at work and we just filmed a video. Actually, I want to show you guys my makeup. I'm really into it. We did a small business haul of black owned makeup businesses and I did my whole face using their products and I think it looks so good. Also, Ooh. I switched my side part yesterday so now it's facing this way. Fancy. Wow. New woman. <laughs> New woman. But we have been working all morning. Today we are doing a really exciting video which I've been waiting to do for so long because I've been waiting for everything to come in. So today, should I tell them? I don't know if I should tell them. You should like hint towards it. Hint I, when you told me the, the idea, I was like that's such a dope amazing idea. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you a <laughs> little hint we are working on a like a charity sort of DIY project thing that is going to go towards helping a bunch of different organizations for Black Lives Matter so yes that is what we're working on today it's gonna be a very long project it's gonna take like a whole probably like 24 hours just to do the one project but we are so excited I will keep you guys updated with everything and it's gonna be like a whole main channel video but I'll give you a little tidbits here and there today but yeah I think they're gonna run out and get lunch and I'm gonna make some food very quickly and then we're gonna get to work again and make TikToks maybe and make TikToks. Okay, <laughs> see you soon. Okay, guys. So it is currently it's lunchtime now, but I I don't know. I woke up and I wasn't that hungry, so I had a single golden kiwi for breakfast. Which, if you guys know lately, I've been super into golden kiwis. But for lunch, I am craving my avocado toast, which I made in yesterday's vlog. But if you guys missed it, it is my new favorite way to make avocado toast. It is so good. I crave it constantly, and I'm excited to have it for lunch. Okay, this bread, you guys. I'm so happy. I feel like. My heart is so full. This bread is amazing. This is the gluten-free whole grain bread from Trader Joe's. I did just look and there was a massive hole in my loaf, so I feel as though I should have gotten a discount, but I just made two slices in the toaster. I love this bread. Whether you eat gluten or not, I think it's so delicious. They're really cute and small. Here are the slices. I also got jumbo eggs and hard boiled like a whole dozen last night, so I have them on hand. Next up, some avocado. Of course you need avocado for avocado toast. I'll probably use like half of this or so. Believe it or not, we all know how much I love avocado. I actually like very little on my avocado toast. It's probably perfect for me for two. You know, I like to taste everything, not just avocado on my toast personally. Where's my dog? Daisy? Again, sorry if you watched the last vlog and I'm just redoing this again, but it's just so good. You know when you have that like breakfast food that you just get excited to wake up and eat? That's how I feel about this. Next up, cherry tomatoes or like these little small guys right here. You guys, this this changes the game. I will also put like big beefsteak tomatoes on top, but just the cherry tomatoes just hit different. I like to actually lay them top side up because then they hold the seasoning a little better. Oh my God, it is to die for, these cherry tomatoes. I feel like maybe they're like really in season right now too because they're just so delicious. Tomatoes on, then I'm gonna slice my egg up. It's gonna be hard because these little slices of bread are so small and there's a lot on top of it, but I'm gonna slice my egg and then try and lay it all on top. I might only get a couple slices of egg. There we go, that works. Ah, broke that one. Get a couple solid slices of egg going on top. There we go, one, two, beautiful. I'm gonna still eat all the rest so I can get the maximum protein. Mmm, 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 oh my gosh, so good. All right, so here is our toast. I know the eggs look a little crazy on the side, but this is our toast. I definitely overboiled the eggs a bit, but that's okay. Da da da. Of course, everything but the bagel on top. Make it stick to the egg and the tomatoes and everything. I'm also gonna add, of course, my red chili flakes, which is my new favorite topping for toast. I like to put a lot on there, honestly. A nice healthy sprinkling of that, and then also to make it extra special, I'm gonna add some of this Trader Joe's truffle powder seasoning. I I don't know if they sell this anymore, but you can use this and mix it with like some sort of like olive oil or something, make some truffle infused oil, or just like, oh my God, sprinkle it on anything if you want truffle. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my toast. That is my, I guess this is more of a brunch. Let's try a bite, shall we? Here it is, oh my God. You guys, 
This is the best version of this toast I've ever made. Oh my God, I've outdone myself. I'm going to enjoy this, watch some YouTube, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, hi vlog, I am back. So, it has been quite a while since I last talked to you. It is now the end of the work day. Eli and Sarah just went home. We had a nice productive day. We got a whole video done, and I wanted to work on, as I said earlier, that charity project thing that I'm doing. But unfortunately, I went through all of the supplies and realized that one of the boxes of stuff has not arrived yet, even though it said that it arrived. So then when I tracked it, it turns out that they delivered it to Arkansas and not to my house. So if anybody in Arkansas received a box from Walmart and you open it up and find a bunch of random supplies, I apologize. So I had to call and they canceled the order. I reordered everything and now it's not gonna be here till this weekend. So unfortunately we can't do it till next week. But either way, I'm so excited for it to happen still. So I ended up just having a normal work day. We got a lot of stuff done, worked on the new video and then I think that one's actually gonna go up this weekend. So I'm excited for that. But now I'm just chilling. They just went home and it is Wednesday night and I have no plans. I do want to get a workout in eventually. I feel like I should. But yeah, sorry. I really don't have many other updates. I also cleaned up the house and got all the stuff ready for trash day. But yeah, that is the update. Hi, dog. Okay, that's it. I'll talk to you when something exciting happens. Good morning. We woke up. It's the next day. The funniest thing just happened. I heard Daisy's food hitting the bowl while I was upstairs changing. So I came downstairs and I looked, but her food wasn't in the actual like bowl holder. And I was like, babe, are you going to feed her? He's like, I just did as he's on his phone. And he had filled the bowl up but left it over there on the counter. And he didn't realize it. It's early. Good try. It's so early. I'm so tired right now. But hold on. Let me put you down. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday, I stopped vlogging because I really didn't do anything at all. Last night, I was just chilling on my phone. We went to bed early. We're up early now. I'm trying to get back into a new system. Today is a very exciting day for many reasons. One of which, a very small one, but I woke up this morning craving something sweet. So I'm finally gonna share with you guys my protein oatmeal that I have been making that is so good. It's so healthy for you and it's so, so, so filling. It keeps you full seriously all day long. I've never had a meal keep me this full before. I am gonna get my water and my computer because I have some editing to do and then we'll get to the protein oatmeal. So BRB. Hello all, I'm back. Please excuse my face. I'm seriously so tired right now. But I have everything here in front of me that I need. So I have a semi-large bowl. I have my oats here. This is a mixture of quick oats and rolled oats but you could use either or honestly. I've got my sweetener of choice which is monk fruit but feel free to use whatever you want. Then I have a peach because I'm making mine like peaches and cream. You can also totally do any other fruit like blueberries and cream, strawberries and cream. This was inspired by those Quaker oat packages. My mom would personally buy them growing up and it came in a four pack of peaches, blueberries, strawberries, and bananas and cream. So any of those work, you can do plums and cream or what else would be good? Pineapples and cream. I don't know if that'd be good, but try it. But for today, I'm going to do half a peach. I'm just gonna slice it into little bitty bite-sized pieces. Oh, also duh, it's protein oatmeal, you need protein. It's too early for this. Now I totally have to give a shout out to Stephanie Buttermore. That is who I got inspired for this idea by. The only thing is she does a pretty big serving and I tried to make as much as she did one time and it was way too much. So I'm going to do a little bit less than her. She does a whole cup of oats, so I'm gonna do a little more than like half a cup or so because I am gonna add some other stuff to it. So. I got half a cup of oats along with a little sprinkle of sugar or monk fruit sweetener. You can use whatever you like. I just eyeball that. Then I'm gonna do a scoop of protein and this is where that filling feeling comes in. It seriously keeps you full for so long. I'm just using vanilla protein powder because it goes really well with it. Also, I feel like it kind of slightly emulsifies and becomes creamy and that's where you get that creamy like peaches and cream flavor. Then I'm gonna take some hot water and pour it in. I'll tell you how much I end up doing probably about three-fourths of a cup. I like mine a little bit on the more runny side. We have this kind of texture. And then I'm gonna add all my peaches in. Delicious. Give it another good stir. The peaches are also gonna soak up some of that liquid. So you want it to be a little bit more liquidy than you think. And the oats are also gonna soak up, obviously. Now I'm gonna microwave this for about a minute to a minute and a half, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, here is my finished oatmeal. This is like my perfect consistency. It's like a little thick, but a little thin. Then I saw Stephanie do this. She tops it with some sort of cereal or like granola or something. I have this vanilla almond cluster cereal from Trader Joe's. I think it's like the knockoff version of the Honey Bunches of Oats with almonds. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on top. It just adds some nice texture. Not too much, just a bit. And that is my breakfast. I'm gonna do this with some coffee and hopefully wake up. Hi guys, okay, I am back. I 
I just finished editing my vlog and it's currently uploading for the day. I woke up extra early so I could get it up for you guys this morning. Now I thought we would do a little DIY project together. So in the last few vlogs I've been talking about, well first of all we all know how much I love Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. It is seriously so delicious. I am obsessed with it. My only problem with it is that everything but the bagel seasoning is made up of sesame seeds, sea salt flakes, dried minced garlic, dried minced onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. We all know I put this on literally everything in my life. So I've gone through about like 15 bottles and I kind of know how it works now. Basically, the salt is way more dense and heavy than anything else in the bottle. So for me personally, the first half of the bottle is delicious and perfect and then the second half of the bottle tends to get way too salty because all the salt kind of like resides at the bottom of the bottle. I've even tried to like shake it up and disperse the salt evenly before I pour things on, but just for some reason the salt just always is at the bottom no matter what. Oh my god, there's a squirrel in my tree and he's so cute. Oh my god. Wait, should I put nuts outside for him? I want to put nuts outside for him. Am I not allowed to do that though? He's so cute and too chunky to be sitting on that twig. Anyways, okay, sorry. So what I decided to do was make my own seasoning at home without the salt so that I'm able to just add salt to my toast or whatever I'm putting it on and know exactly how much is going to come out. You know what I mean? I can like control the level because I actually don't really like salt that much. And maybe sometimes I'll just go without salt and just do the seasoning mix that I make. Also, this is great if any of you guys live in an area where there is no Trader Joe's. I know also Costco sells a version of this now. So many companies, he is such a cute squirrel. Oh my God. <gasps> Hi, baby. Oh, he's leaving. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go put some walnuts out there for him because he he deserves them. He's so adorable. I'm gonna leave a little handful out there for him. Am I not supposed to be doing this? Okay, put the nuts up there. Hopefully he comes back. As I was saying, this is great if you don't have a Costco or a Trader Joe's or wherever else they sell this seasoning. This is everything you're gonna need. I bought everything in bulk. Well, half of it I already had. A couple things I had to go buy. To purchase all of these things in like bulk, and make it yourself, you're gonna save so much money because this really isn't that much. I go through this in maybe like a month or so. So yes, what we're gonna need is minced garlic. Here we go. We got this big container. We got minced onion. These are both dried. Where's the squirrel? We've got toasted and crushed sesame seeds. These are from the Korean grocery store, as well as these ones, which are toasted black sesame seeds. And then last but not least, I have some poppy seeds here from Thrive Market. I do know Thrive Market also sells everything but the bagel seasoning in like a bag like this. But what I'm most excited about about this is I can really control what goes in my seasoning. Like personally, I like a little less sesame, so now I can make them myself. So let's figure this out, shall we? We shall. All right, I got my big bowl here, and I'm gonna start by pouring my ingredients in. So we got my sesame seeds. I just don't know quite how much fits into this container. I'm gonna empty this out and then fill it up with my new seasoning now. Oh, that smells good. I love the toasted Korean ones. I don't know if this is toasted or not. I'm guessing these ones don't come toasted, so I think it'll be extra delicious. We got poppy seeds, which fun fact, if you eat poppy seeds and then take a drug test, you will um, test positively for some sort of drug. I forget which one it is, but you'll test positively because poppy seeds trigger that for some reason. I don't know what it was. I saw that in an article recently. Then we've got the minced garlic and the minced onion. Make sure it's just onion and just garlic in there. This is what makes the seasoning good. You need this. I honestly wanna do like two parts this to one part everything else. It is so Delicious. Okay, here's the mixture so far. I'm gonna give her a little stir, a little spoon, mix it all up, make sure it's evenly dispersed. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little more garlic and a little more onion because seriously, like this is why I eat this stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This looks spot on. It smells so good. Should I eat a whole spoon? I'm just kidding, ew. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Now, I have so much more left. I can make this like 50 more times for such a cheap price. Okay, so I just took the top off my container. There was like a little bit of the salt bit left, so I just tossed that because I don't want it. Got a little funnel here, and then we'll just spoon her into the container. I wonder if I could just spoon it without the funnel. Will that still go? Oh yeah, check this out. Oh my gosh, I wish I had another container. I have so much. This is gonna fill up like three containers worth. Also what's cool about this is you could add other things to it. Here we go, here's my new container of my homemade everything but the bagel seasoning. To this you could add in, like if you wanna add chili flakes, if you wanna add like dried herbs or something, you totally could. 
I wish the squirrel knew that I put food out for him. Okay, well now I still have this much left. It looks like I didn't even put a dent in it. What should I put it in? I don't have any more empty containers. Oh well, I'm gonna put the leftovers in this reusable bag and now I'm good for at least a couple months and then I can put this on everything and not worry about having to go to Trader Joe's when I run out and then have a bunch of salt. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's not even like 10 a.m., you guys. I need to sit down or something. <laughs> Thank you for participating in this DIY project with me. I am now going to go check on the vlog and we're recording Pretty Basic today. So that's what's happening and I'll see you very soon. <laughs> First vlog clip in months. <laughs> Hi! Look who's here! Guys. We just recorded. We did. It was our first time recording in person together. And it just felt so weird. Like we kept looking at each other like in the eye and then laughing. And it just felt it felt weird. Too much eye contact. We are finally back together. We are so excited. I think this is gonna be our new weekly routine. Oh my god, it's so out of focus. And it's dark. Hold on. Wait, it just moved because it was not like that. Much better. My hair looks so crazy. Yes, we just recorded. This is our new possibly weekly routine. We're gonna record and hang out. We had salads. I made some lunch. Honestly, so good. We've been talking because we were like, I wanted to have talking to a bite in my mouth. <laughs> I have no idea what you're doing. I was like, why did I put a bite in my mouth mm. when I was just about to talk? Yeah, we were saying like, it's so weird now with a whole bunch of the rules lifting for quarantine and everything. Like you can go to salon now, like, you can go to the nail salon. And so it's Gym. weird, but it feels weird. Like I'm not worried about it because I know you've been so safe. I, like there's certain friends where I'm like, I'm not seeing you. Mm -hmm. like, honestly. Six feet, Literally, wear the mask. Yeah, like, no, but, I know, but it just feels weird kind of like going back to like, normal seeing scene. people. Yeah. The idea of going to a restaurant or just going to like a store that's not the that grocery store. We ordered inside and then went outside and sat out mm. in a patio. There was like no one around. So it was really just like, I mean, there's other people at other tables, but they were definitely like spread way far. So like no one was next to us. Wow. And it felt so weird. That's some nice privacy. When you think of like those restaurants in LA where they like pack everybody together, yeah. like that's not gonna be a thing. Can you eat inside restaurants now? I'm like so confused by all the rules. I do know that like gyms, salons, nail salons are opening up too. Mm. I had to go over to Riverside and like it, the rules there are completely different than here in LA. Mm -hmm. But I think they're just like a, two weeks ahead. Mm. Cause like rest, things are like normal there. Like you don't even have to wear a mask. It's just recommended. Yeah, my parents too. That's so crazy. I personally like enjoy wearing a mask now. Like I feel like for the first couple weeks I was getting like acclimated. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I was like trying to figure it out. Now I'm like totally fine with wearing a mask. It doesn't bother me at all, which I think I'm definitely gonna be wearing one when I go outside. Even like after Traveling. everything is clear. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I have no we, problem with it. Like when we would go to Japan, they're so respectful there to where like if someone has a cold, they wear a mask for other people. Mm -hmm. Where now I'm like, oh my God, we, why haven't we ever, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Well, that's our update. We're just eating salads. Hey, oh my God, we look like we're on Keeping Up with the Kardashians with <laughs> our with our bowls. And your beautiful house. Hello. Guys, uh, Red moved. I moved, in case you <laughs> didn't know. know. Did you know I moved? <laughs> A, B, C, D, F, G. Is that what she says? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, A, F, G. What's the one about? Courtney, why don't you have a Wi-Fi box out here? And she's like, it's not about something. It's about radiation. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go now. But missed you. Missed you. Mm. Bye. Missed you. <laughs> Hi, guys. It is later. Alicia and I had a wonderful day today after, oh, you got Clear the, clear the space, you gotta clear tell me. You gotta tell me when to stop. Okay. For dinner tonight, we're making salads. I basically just threw a bunch of things into this bowl. I've been super obsessed with this mixture lately. We've got romaine lettuce, cherry tomatoes, avocado, cucumber, egg, butternut squash, and then garlic spread and some balsamic vinaigrette. Then you give it a good shake. Put the top on. Shake, 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 shake. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Mm. Okay, actually they don't look that good now that they're shaken up, but it's gonna taste yummy. Salmon, we've roasted. Or air fried, rather. <laughs> <laughs> air fried salmon. Cow. <laughs> On top. Ooh la la, look at that. Health is wealth, baby. Today I made my own everything but the bagel seasoning. Did you really? I really did, I showed them. We're gonna top everything off with a little bit of this. There you go, sir. Dinner is served. It looks good, right? Taste test. Poor thing is being held against his will. Lettuce. Taste good. Chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> Sicko. All right, guys, dinner was 
so good. We are now, well, Cal's doing the dishes and I, it's so funny. I was craving something sweet and I was gonna bake something and then he said he was craving something sweet. So now we're really gonna bake something. I mean, what am I not? I know I always want cake. So I have to give a shout out to this amazing company called Good D's Still Sweet. If you guys remember my Erewhon haul I did a few weeks ago, I bought their sprinkles at the store. They make sprinkles that were sweetened with, I think it was stevia. Love the sprinkles. And then they reached out and wanted to send some of their cake mixes. And I really wanted to try, or just like baking mixes. All these are grain free, sugar free, gluten free, and soy free. They might be keto, question mark, not sure. But either way, we have here chocolate brownie, chocolate chip cookie, and chocolate snack cake. Which one do you want? Cookie. Cookie? All right, here we go. I don't know what we need to mix it. Okay, we need an egg, vanilla extract, and then butter or coconut oil. Sounds good. Okay, so it's made out of sunflower seed flour. So if you don't like sunflower seeds or you're allergic, then you can't have this. I personally have always been a sunflower seed stand. So here we go. Let's try it. I am currently preheating the oven to 325 degrees. Fahrenheit. Oh, it smells sunflowery. You know what they have at Trader Joe's that this kind of smells like? The sunflower butter cups, the chocolate chip ones they have. We got chocolate this. Chip? Yeah, remember the peanut butter cups, but the sunflower butter ones you they have. chocolate chip though. Oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Three tablespoons of this, which I'm going to melt down. Mmm, I love coconut oil. We're gonna put this into the microwave for 30 seconds. Oh my God, we threw away the packaging. I don't know how to bake them. We're just gonna eyeball a splash of vanilla. Oh my God, guys. I have wonderful news. The squirrel ate the nuts. He took a few and then left and then came back and took the last two. And I hope he is satiated and happy. That's all we can ever hope for. We are mixing this up a bit liquidy for sure. Oh, it actually smells really good. Okay, now it says to get a little cookie sheet. Cookie sheet and parchment. Now we spoon one and a half to two tablespoons of dough and this should yield 12 cookies. It's definitely a lot more liquidy than other like real cookie dough. So I will see how this goes. Don't know how this is gonna turn out. So I only got 10 cookies out of this, which means they're all a little bigger than they should be, but that is okay. All right, last one. I'll put it, oh shoot, where do I put it? Hopefully they don't spread too much. Okay, 10 to 15 minutes. I'll see you soon. <laughs> this looks great. This looks great. Can't wait to have some 50 calorie cookies. <laughs> so I pulled the cookies out. And I think they smell good and look good. And what did you say? You have Stockholm Syndrome to healthy stuff. I think they look and, you don't think they look or smell? Okay, they don't look that good. But you don't think they smell good? They don't smell like cookie. Look at them. Oh, they're hardening a bit. Okay, I took them out. I left them in for 13 minutes. And now, Why are we'll they let squishy? Them, because they need to cool. What the heck? They gotta cool. This isn't, this isn't right. They have a this nice. This is not cool. You're doing a stupid bit right now. Why do you always insult me on camera? <laughs> Whoa. Look at what you did. Look at what you did. Doughy. We're gonna let them chill for a bit. They, they really do smell good. And this one, morph together but you know it's fine hi guys just coming on to end the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye